Welcome to the COVID-19 SPOT Student and Parent Training. This training will introduce you to our new policies and procedures in place in response to COVID-19. So what is COVID-19? COVID-19 is also referred to as the coronavirus. The coronavirus is a new novel virus that has not been previously identified. The symptoms can range from mild to severe. The virus is primarily spread through droplets that travel through the air. These droplets come from an infected person's mouth and nose when they breathe, cough, or sneeze. That's why the CDC recommends wearing a mask when you'll be in a smaller space. In the description below, you'll find a link to a family-friendly video that discusses more about what the coronavirus is. This video is a good explanation for kids and families. Hopefully you watched the video and have learned a little bit more about what the coronavirus is. So what can you do to reduce the spread of germs? If you have to cough or sneeze, do so into a tissue or your elbow. Covering your cough or sneeze helps prevent those particles or germs from traveling through the air. Avoid touching your mouth, nose, eyes, or any part of your face. Germs can also be present on surfaces and we don't want to spread them from a surface to yourself. Wash your hands and wash your hands often. In order to properly wash your hands, make sure you use soap and water and wash for at least 20 seconds. Below in the description, you'll find a link to some popular song choruses that are 20 seconds long. You can sing these songs while you wash your hands to make it a little bit more fun. If you don't have access to soap and water, use hand sanitizer. The spot will have multiple sanitation stations around the building so students will be able to sanitize on their way to and from classes. So how is the SPOT responding to COVID-19? The SPOT has put in a lot of new policies and procedures to make sure you, your children, our staff, and our families all can stay safe. The SPOT will operate in phases, as recommended by the CDC in the state of North Carolina. Flags will be displayed each representing a different phase. These flags will be available for you to view anytime you drop off your child and will be updated daily. Phase one is designated by a red flag. Phase one is the most restrictive and has the most social distancing requirements. Students will interact on more of a virtual platform in games like Kahoot. Masks will be required more often, especially when students may come within six feet of each other. A yellow flag denotes phase two. Phase two includes moderate restrictions. Mask and social distancing is still practice. However, students may pass within six feet of each other during activities. For example, something like a relay race. And a green flag denotes phase three. Phase three is the most lenient restrictions. Partner classes will even be able to participate in larger group games. For example, third and fourth grade may be able to play a game of kickball together. There will be less mass requirements and more collaboration between students. There will still be social distancing and safety measures in place, but they will be a bit more relaxed. These are updated based on the conditions in the local environment. If cases are rising in Wilson, North Carolina, we are more likely to be in phase one or phase two. If cases are declining, we may be moving to phase two or phase three. When you arrive at the spot, you'll see a new traffic pattern and new signs. These signs not only denote the new traffic pattern and help guide you where you're supposed to go, but they also contain important information. These signs may change daily, so make sure you read them each time you come to the spot. Not only will there be new signs outside, but there will also be new signs inside. 
Inside the campus, signs, green meaning go and red meaning stop, will denote the ways students can move throughout the building. The spot is using a one-way traffic flow, which is shown to help reduce contamination between students and promote better social distancing. Please ask yourself these questions before sending your child to the spot. And please answer honestly. If your child or anyone in the house has the following symptoms, a cough, a fever, or shortness of breath, please do not attend the spot that day. Safety is most important. If your child, yourself, and everyone in the household is symptom free, you can drop off your child. The drop off process will look a little bit different. So please use caution when driving through the parking lot, drive slowly, follow the signs and be patient. Upon arrival, signs will direct you to where you need to go. Parents and other students not attending a program are asked to please remain in the vehicle. Only the child or children who are attending a program that day can exit the car and use the marked crosswalk to proceed to the entrance. Prior to entering the building, student temperature will be taken using a contactless thermometer. Student temperatures will be labeled as green, yellow, or red. If a student has a temperature of 100.4 or above, they will be labeled as red and must immediately return to the parent's vehicle. A green temperature means that the student's temperature is normal and they will be able to enter the building. A yellow temperature means that the student's temperature is a little bit high, but not high enough to transmit the virus. Students who are labeled as yellow will be monitored hourly. Hand washing and sanitation stations will be located around the campus. Don't forget, Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. When soap and water is not available, students will have access to hand sanitizer stations. There are over 20 stations located around the campus. Each station has a hand sanitizer as well as gloves for staff to help distribute the hand sanitizer appropriately to students. In addition, the spot will be utilizing on-site technology that will remind everyone to stop wherever they are and sanitize hourly. In addition to sanitation stations, the spot staff will also be sanitizing surfaces with CDC approved solution regularly, especially high contact surfaces, including doorknobs, handrails, bathrooms, desks, chairs, and technology. Thanks to the Wilson Energy Grant, each spot bathroom will have motion sensor technology. This includes a motion sensor toilet, hand sink, soap dispenser, and paper towel dispenser. These were important for us to implement prior to students returning because bathrooms are already pretty germy. Having all of these touchless features helps reduce the amount of contact students make in this area. Additionally, since restrooms are typically smaller spaces, only one student is allowed in the restroom at a time, even if there are multiple stalls available. The spot will be promoting social distancing. This means students and staff will remain at least six feet apart from other people. While walking from one place to another, we know maintaining a social distance of six feet can be difficult. The spot will be using social distancing rings, a string with rings spread out six feet apart to help students maintain social distancing. Students may be asked to wear a face mask or cloth covering. This will happen anytime social distancing may not be feasible. Examples of this are waiting in line or riding on a bus. The spot will provide mask in the event a child needs one. Students are also welcome to bring their own mask. 
In order for masks to work the best, we need to make sure we're using and wearing them properly. Prior to putting on your mask, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly. Don't forget 20 seconds with soap and water. Put the mask over your mouth and nose. You can also secure it under your chin for the best results. Try to make sure your mask fits as snugly as possible. Get a mask that's appropriate for your face size. Also, make sure you can breathe easily. If you are bringing your own mask, ways to ensure you can breathe easily is that it's only two layers of cotton, which is what is recommended by the CDC. Any extra layers will make it harder to breathe. If you are a student who wears glasses, try to get a mask that has a small metal piece that fits to the bridge of your nose. Fitting the mask to the bridge of your nose will help prevent condensation buildup on your glasses that makes it difficult to see. Take off your cloth mask covering very carefully. If you're using a spot mask, you'll take it off as you leave and place it in a basket. When taking off your mask, use the ear loops to remove it. Don't touch the front of the mask where your mouth has been. This is the area that's most likely to contain germs. Once you take off your mask, be sure not to touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. That's why we want to remove it with the ear loops. Immediately sanitize or wash your hands after removing your mask. So how can you help? If you leave home, know your W's. Wear, wait, and wash. This is the part of the hashtag stay strong NC COVID response plan. This not only applies to your time at the spot, but it will be helpful for you if you utilize these three W's anytime you leave your house for things like grocery shopping. So what do you do if you start to feel sick? Feeling sick includes getting a fever, cough, or shortness of breath. First, stay home and call your doctor if you don't have a primary care physician, you can call the health department. It is not recommended to go to the emergency room unless you are experiencing an emergency. Next, isolate yourself. Isolating yourself in your own home can help prevent other family members from getting sick. And of course, stay informed. Know what the symptoms are and what to do if you experience them. So what happens when a student at the spot starts to feel sick? This includes a fever, a cough, or shortness of breath. Students experiencing these symptoms will be sent to the comfort room. The comfort room is located at the front of the spot. Sometimes our parents and staff refer to this as the glass room. Students sent to the comfort room will be monitored by a professional volunteer or staff that has some medical experience. Students will be made comfortable and isolated from other students and staff until a parent or guardian arrives. Ways that we will help make your student more comfortable is giving them the ability to lay down, take a nap, and lay their head down. While we hope no student ever gets sick at the spot, it's always best to have a plan. If students are sent to the comfort room, they are asked to be picked up by a parent or guardian as soon as possible. There is a new pick up process at the spot. When you come to pick up your child, pull into an available parking slot. There will be three slots parallel to the building available for parents to pull in during pickup. Please remain in your vehicle. Both the parent and any other children accompanying the parent to pick up the child should remain in the vehicle. Upon arrival, call or text the spot to notify that you are here to pick up a child. The number is located on the slot sign. In your call or text, make sure to give the student name and their spot ID number. Have the back seat behind the driver empty for the student to enter from that side of the vehicle. We ask that you leave this side of the vehicle open as it is the safest entry point from the sidewalk. 
Remember, this is a new traffic pattern, so please be patient and of course drive carefully as your student, as well as other students, are also learning this pattern. Here's an example of a pickup sign that you might see when you come to get your child. There's a new traffic pattern for you, as well as a new checkout process for students. After you have called or texted your student's name and spot ID number, staff will call for the child on campus. Staff and students will hear the name called and report the student to the back gate for departure. Students will drop their ID badge and mask if it was provided by the spot in the basket. Then sanitize their hands and leave the building through the gate. Students will report to their parents' vehicle and enter behind the driver's seat side. This is the safest side for a student to enter, so please remember to keep it open. Some things to remember when picking up your child is first to have patience. This process may take a little bit longer than usual and is new to everyone. The spot is a large campus and there is a new building flow. Students will have to follow signs to exit the building correctly. This may take them longer than normal. Students may also be looking for personal items and they may not be ready to leave. Students are going to be excited to come back to the spot and may not be ready to say goodbye to their friends or staff. It's important to stay informed. It's even more important to stay informed with reliable and scientifically based information. The following is a list of sources that will give you reliable, scientific, and accurate information for the coronavirus. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. There is an online form where you can submit questions on our website. You can also call the spot. It's highly recommended, since we are serving lunch right now, to call after our lunch service is over. This is from about 1 to 3 p.m. You can also call before lunch service between 8 and 9 a.m. There's one last step to complete your training. Make sure you go to the SPOTS website one more time, www.thewilsonspot.org, and take the COVID training survey.